Hello, hello, welcome to the Happy Hippie Intuitive. This is Nina and I am here to do your 2022 reading Aquarius. Now, I would like to remind you that these readings are general, so you must take what resonates and leave the rest, please. I will list all the cards I use below in the description box if you find any of the cards nice and useful for you. Now, I would also encourage you to click that like button and subscribe if you haven't and click the bell so you get notified every time I upload a new video. Now with that being said, let us dive into the reading for you Aquarius. We're going to look at the energies that might come towards you in the next year and we're going to ask spirit for advice on how to maneuver those energies, okay? So with further ado, let's get into it. We are going to start with three oracle cards, which will be the overarching energy. And then we're going to sink into those energies and we're going to pull some tarot cards and then some angel cards and charms in the end today. I hope you're doing well, Aquarius. Hope you're ready for some new energies in this new year. We are leaving a year of the number five in numerology, which was about change. And we're moving into the year six in numerology, which is about love. Okay, so let us look at it. Trust all will be well. Shine. Know your worth. Okay. Okay, so let's see. You have the Virgo energy here, you have the Leo energy, and you have the Taurus energy. Okay. And you have three new moons, actually. That's quite rare. Now, new moon is about planning. New moon is when we are kind of planning for the month ahead, when we're starting up something new, when we are accepting something new into our lives. So with three new moon cards coming your way, I would say, Aquarius, this is the year for you to step into something new, to start planning for something new, okay? You have the Virgo energy here. Virgo energy is very much about the home, about house, about the family, about the ground pillars in life. It's an earth element. So it is about, you can be your work, your career, your home, your family, okay? And they're saying with that, that trust all will be well. So there might be some changes within your home, within your ground pillars, within your career or your workspace or your family. And with that, they're saying that trust that all will be well. If you're feeling like that's a little bit rocky right now, or that things are about to change or have been changing in the past year, then they're saying that this will land now. Okay, you can plan ahead and all will be well. With the Leo energy, Leo is about expansion. It's about fire. It's the fire element. It's about change. It's about doing. It's about moving forward. And they're asking you to shine. So with that, I feel like they're asking you to step into this new and shine your light. Be the beautiful you that you are. Don't be afraid. All will be well. It's time for you to shine. Now, the Taurus energy is also very much about the family and it's about the nice things in life, appreciating the nice things in life as well. And they're saying, know your worth. So they, they are telling you that don't let anybody else tell you that you are not worthy or that you don't deserve. Uh, they are saying that you are worthy and that you definitely do deserve. And they're also asking you with this, with the Taurus energy, to maybe um, surround yourself with the things in life that you appreciate, that you find beautiful, that you like to have in your life, okay? And... Taurus is also someone that actually indulges themselves to actually go shopping and, you know, uh, buying those nice things for the home and appreciating those beautiful things. Because I know that this journey is, of course, about love and it's about the inner, but we are also human. We are also in a human experience. And humans, of course, love beautiful things like this one right here, you know, beautiful uh, bling bling thing and the bling bling nail polish. And, you know, you can you can like beautiful things and you can surround yourself with beautiful things without it being, uh, you know, only in the ego mind or without it being uh, superficial, if you will. It's It's about surrounding you with energies that makes you feel well, 
Okay, so I'm not saying go overboard and go shopping and be only materialistic. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is make sure that you surround yourself with things that are beautiful, people that are beautiful, energies that are beautiful, so that that will enhance your energy within yourself, okay? But all in all, I feel like this is a year for new beginnings. This is a year for planning ahead. This is a year to step into this new and trust that all will be well. Trust that you can shine your life and that you are worthy. Okay. So let us look at some tarot. Just want to shuffle a little bit. Okay. There they started popping. Okay. Magician. That's so beautiful. You are the magician of your own life here. You have all the tools you need. Knight of Pentacles, an offer coming your way. It can also be new health. Okay, renewal of health or an offer as in career money uh, projects. Okay. Strength. Wow. And that's also the Leo energy again. That's beautiful. The Hermit. And that's, of course being aligned I and mean, also in con connection with spirit. The lamp represents the connection with spirit here in the hermit card. Now you also have to remember that even though, I mean, we, we are not only going through life experiencing the good things, we're also experiencing the bad things, but don't let yourself get stuck in that energy though. Uh, remember that, you know, when you are grieving and when you are feeling something through that's beautiful but remember that there's always a silver lining if you turn around and look there will be two full cups behind you here is what they're saying with that card i don't know if you can see that properly i will hold it up so you see that she's focusing on or he is focusing on the spilled milk in front of him instead of focusing on the full cups behind okay so it is about shifting that perspective um and remember that there is a silver lining in everything that happens to you, okay? Now the last card here. Wow, Clamina Pentacles, beautiful. Underneath the deck, Knight of Wands. So energy coming towards you. Uh, new inspired ideas might be coming towards you. Uh, new passion might be coming towards you, okay, with that. Now... The queen is, of course, someone who is very balanced, who is grounded, who is nurturing to, towards themselves and others. So that's kind of where you're headed is what I'm feeling. Now, I do see that there is three major arcana cards here. So that means that there is, as I said, a potential for a huge shift for you, for moving into something new. You are the magician. You already have all the tools you need in the toolbox so it's a matter of planning and actually daring to step into it and shine okay there will be an offer coming towards you and there is also an offer kind of here in the the wands it might be an offer of energy an offer of ideas an offer of passion and this might be an offer of new health renewed health or offer of career or money or a, an opportunity coming your way now, the strength is here for you. If you feel like you don't have the strength, then ask the angels and guides to come and help you and fill you up with strength. Now, I'm also noticing that you have two cards with the infinity symbol on it, okay? So, for me, this is a change in this year that's going to last. This is, a, this is kind of a pivotal change that's happening, I feel. Now, the Hermit card is, of course, someone who is in connection with the spiritual realm through the lamp here, but also someone who sets aside the time to go within and to be alone and to feel into whatever it is that needs to be felt into and to balance um, the ego mind with the, the heart and, you know, balance the energy flow coming in and energy going out, those kind of things. So make sure that you set aside the time to do that this year as well, taking care of you, right? And... Uh, again, looking at this as everything that happened to you is actually uh, happened for you, not to you. Because you have ordered, you know, on the menu before you came here to experience certain things. And so whatever it is that you have experienced is something that you on a higher level has decided already. So that's the silver lining that you have been able to feel this through and you have been able to stand with strength within whatever it is that's been happening to you. And you have, 
you know, felt it. You have, you have gained that wisdom from feeling that through. Okay. So continue doing that. Continue to be bold enough to feel those things through and to step into these new energies because that's kind of why you came. You came to play in different energies, right? So trust that all will be well. You can step into this now. Step into it and shine and know your worth. So now we are going to pull a couple of Archangel animal cards and then we are going to pull some charms. Let's see Aquarius what the angels have to say. Cow. Give without unconditional love and you know, give with unconditional love and grace. Archangels Raphael and Mary. Unconditional love and grace. I do feel like that's where you are though, Aquarius. I feel like you have that unconditional love and grace within you. And I think it's time for you to shine that, you know, to step into maybe sharing, maybe sharing that uh, in a way that feels good for you, whether it be just with friends or whether it be um, writing or whether it be singing, acting, painting, uh, doing videos on YouTube, you know, you have to adjust this to where you are, but maybe sharing that beautiful uh, love and grace with others now, since you also have the magician card, which, and also the hermit, which tells me that you are in connection, connection with your spiritual, uh, maybe that's something you're supposed to share, maybe this is a spiritual journey turning into a spiritual uh, teaching, okay, so... I just look at this parrot. Listen intently to understand Archangel Bobke. So with that, I feel like they are definitely trying to reach you. They want you to listen to them. They want you to, to hear them when they say that you are worthy, uh, that you it's your time to shine. It's your time to step into this new. It's your time to be bold enough to, to accept this new coming towards you. Okay. Uh, to be the magician in your own life. Because you have all the tools already. So you, all you have to do is connect and align and listen to them as they guide you. Okay. Now I want to pull some charms. So let us see what you got here. You got the infinity symbol again. Oh my goodness. Wow. I have never seen that happen. You have three of them here now. Wow. So this is, I feel like this is, has something to do, this coming year might have something to do with your life path. Uh, stepping into what it is that you truly came here to do. I feel like very much Aquarius. I feel like this is a pivotal year for you. There is a huge potential for you to really step into your purpose this year. Okay. Now you have a snowman here, so I would say, of course, if you live in the northern part of the hemisphere, to go out and play in the snow, be playful, be in that playful mode. But also with the snowman, you remember you have to kind of put one bowl on top of the other, so it's kind of a building block thing. So I would say also take it a step at a time, so you don't get, you know... Um, scared or or you know rattled with with all the stuff at once but take it one step at a time trust that all will be well as they say here but take it easy in your pace now you got two flowers on top of each other here little lego flowers so blooming blossoming uh, allowing that flower to open up and shine as you can see with the flowers here okay you have the bell. For me, that is a wake-up call, okay? They are definitely trying to reach you. I'll put it here on the hermit. Um, or actually maybe here on the parrot where they're saying listen intently because I feel like they're trying to wake you up a little bit here to your true purpose, to what it is you're supposed to do. And I have a feeling you're supposed to share, you see. Now, you also got the dolphin, the playful dolphin, the jumping dolphin. And that, for me, again being playful, getting into the playfulness in you, the joy within you. And that's also a way in to your alignment uh, with your spiritual self as well, through playing, through um, being creative, you know, through happiness, through joy, you get in that alignment. If you have a hard time finding the time and the space to really getting deep down in meditation and all those things, then you can use that way as well to get in that alignment and to get in touch with that inner you, okay? 
but I do feel a huge potential for you moving into 2022 Aquarius. I feel this is uh, this is a year for you to find your life purpose, to step into your life purpose, to start sharing what it is that you do, to start sharing your gift, because I see that you are gifted. You have the strength for it now. If you feel you don't, then ask for it. There will be offers coming towards you. Remember that there's a silver lining in everything that you're experiencing. And this is where you're headed. You're headed to the Queen of Pentacles. You know, the woman that has everything she needs, grounded, nurturing others, nurturing herself, being in alignment and being in balance. I feel like that's a potential for you this coming year. So for me, this is an extremely positive reading, Aquarius, I must say, and a huge potential for you to really move into your reason for being on this planet in the first place. With three of this infinity symbols, I'm I'm having chills now. I feel like this is such a, a very important year for you, an important reading uh, that I hope you take to heart, okay? Thank you so much for being with me today, Aquarius. I wish you the very best moving into this. Until the next time, I see you. Bye.